Howdy there, everybody. It's your old pal, Jazz McKay, and I'm sorry I haven't made any videos lately, but I've uh, been real, real busy. And it just don't look good for Donald Trump's re-election, but, you know, it's not over yet, folks. It really is. It's not completely over yet. we still got lawsuits and recounts and all that kind of good shit. And the Communist Party majority in the House of Representatives has been bigly reduced and, uh, well, we'll blow them all out in 2022 and, uh, and completely clean house. And, and then Kevin McCarthy can become speaker. And uh, then there's a Senate, but uh, I'll cover that in my next video. Um, I want to focus uh, today on the threats that are coming from the Communist Party members in the House of Representatives in particular, uh, being directed at we Trump supporters today. Uh, namely, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, or as Tucker Carlson calls her, Sandy. She wants to know, is anyone archiving these Trump sycophants for when they try to downplay or deny their complicity in the future, I foresee decent probability of many deleted tweets, writings, photos in the future. I'm not deleting a damn thing. And then there's this guy, Evan McMullen, who is a leftist activist and a former CIA officer. He wants all us Trumpers punished, too. We should keep and publish a list of everyone who assists Trump's frivolous and dangerous attacks on the election. Name and shame them forever. And, of course, who could forget back in early October when Keith Olbermann was ranting about how he wanted Donald Trump and Mike Pence and all of Donald Trump's supporters and collaborators to uh, be arrested. And then he and his enablers, and his supporters, and his collaborators, and the Mike Lees, and the William Barrs, and the Sean Hannity's, and the Mike Pence's, and the Rudy Giuliani's, and the Kyle Rittenhouse's, and the Amy Coney Barrett's must be prosecuted and convicted and removed from our society while we try to rebuild it and to rebuild the world Trump has nearly destroyed by turning it over to a virus. Remember it. Even as we dream of a return to reality and safety and the country for which our forefathers died, that the fight is not just to win an election, but to win it by enough to chase, at least for a moment, Trump and the maggots off the stage and then try to clean up what they left. Remember it, even though to remember it means remembering that the fight does not end November 3rd, but in many ways will only begin that day. So with all of that danger uh, lurking out there, you know, with, uh, with all these people demanding that we Trumpers be uh, incarcerated and uh, tortured, waterboarded, or whatever the hell it's, uh, it, it ends up being, uh, I guess uh, most of us would probably tear the Trump stickers off our cars, take down the banners, and, uh, and uh, kind of take off the MAGA hats and just sort of slink away. But, yeah, that's... Uh, not going to happen around here. I promise you that. Because let me tell you something. Donald Trump isn't just a man. Donald Trump is an idea. Donald Trump is a concept. MAGA is more than just one guy. It's a movement. And right now it stands at about 100 million strong in this country. Take a look at my Donald Trump for President 2020 flag that is still flying high and will continue to fly over my property here in beautiful downtown Oildale, California, USA. My bumper stickers will remain on my truck. My MAGA hat securely positioned right there on the old noggin. Maybe not that one. Maybe the red one is too much. Kind of depends on my mood and where I'm going. Like I said, MAGA is not, <laughs> I repeat, not just one man. It is a movement and it is a strong man. Hey, I like this one right here. That kind of yeah, that kind of suits the Deplorables t-shirt that I'm wearing. And as far as uh, any of your attacks on us, uh, let me remind everybody, we're the ones with the guns, okay? We're the ones that are armed. I really wouldn't advise coming after us and threatening us in any particular way. And you didn't really win very big this last November 3rd, did you? Because you didn't win the Senate and you lost a lot of seats in the House of Representatives. I mean, a lot. 
you're only going to have a margin of about two seats by the time all of this is said and done and special elections are over. I'll cover that in my next video. Until then, God bless America. God bless our law enforcement officers and death to the new world order. I'm Jazz McKay. I'll see you. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure and like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Share to your social media. And leave nasty comments below. God bless America. And death to the new world order.